Tips for using Android Auto By connecting an Android phone to your car, you can use Android Auto to listen to music, make calls, get directions, as well as run certain apps, amongst other things. Android Auto works with certain Android phones. Note, for installation of Android Auto to be possible, the car must be equipped with two USB ports, USB hub. If the car only has one USB port, then it is not possible to use Android Auto. To use Android Auto, you need to install the Android Auto app on your mobile phone. For information about markets in which the app is available, see the Android Auto. Home button. If you are in an app, you can always press the Android Auto icon in the app view to return to the Android Auto view. Check Android Auto. The Android Auto apps can be controlled via the center display, the mobile device, or with the steering wheel's right-hand keypad. Voice control. Android Auto can also be controlled with voice control. A long press on the steering wheel button starts voice control, and a short press deactivates it. Navigation with Android Auto. If you use map navigation via Android Auto, there is no guidance in the driver display or the head-up display but only in the center display. General tips. Update your Android device with the latest version of the Android operating system and ensure that your apps are updated. When you start the car, wait before tapping on the subview for Android Auto on the center display until Android Auto is connected. If you experience problems with Android Auto, disconnect your Android telephone from the USB port and reconnect via USB. You can also try stopping the app in your Android telephone and then restarting the app. When a telephone is connected to Android Auto, it is still possible to stream media via Bluetooth to another media player. Bluetooth is active when Android Auto is used. More information about how to get started can be found on Android Auto's website.